Hey guys, we're back again with another guitar lesson. This one is for Drifter of the Barren Waste, which is the second and last song on the My Headstone single. So I guess we'll just jump straight on into it. So it starts off with the chorus, which is used as the intro right now. So, so it's... <laughs> So what that is, is we've just got, um, we're palm muting on the open E string, one, two, three, four, and then we've got a power chord on the third fret of the A string, which is your first finger on the third fret of the A and your third finger on the fifth fret of the D. So it is, uh, yeah, so power chord on the third of the A, slide it down to the second. So yeah, it's the third, and then you slide down to the second, and then third, slide down to the second, and then you hit the power chord on the first. This is all on the A string. So that's the first one, and then on the second time around, instead of uh, finishing on the first fret, you finish on the fifth fret, so it goes... ...on the fifth there. So it just alternates between those two, which is, it just sounds like this. transition into the into the verse riff which is so it's all on the A string it just goes third second first open so with the transition it sounds like all right so that leads us into the verse which is it sounds like this So that is on the E string, just open E with palm muting. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And then we hit, um, we got our fin first finger on the third fret of the A, and then we just do a, a tap on pull off on the uh, on the fourth fret, so just a little Iomi kind of fucking thing. Then we go back to the open uh, E. Instead of doing the open thing, we uh, have a power chord on the third of the A, then the second and the first. So. Um, bend you can strum, you can hit them all, or you can slide it down, uh, whatever's easier for you. I uh, can't remember, I, I just go between both. So, um, yeah, so that verse riff all together just sounds like... Alright, that's the verse riff all done. Um, transition out of the verse riff into the chorus again. Uh, we just add an extra, extra chord, which is... So it's just an open on the first, so this, the, it's the same that we did before, and then we just add an extra. So it's just an open power chord on the A string. So yeah, you've just got your third finger on the second fret of the D string. Let that ring out, and then it goes back into the chorus. The awesome. So that is, yeah. So it does the chorus, then the verse, and the um, lyrics kick in. Chorus, verse, and then um, what is it? It's another chorus, I guess. And then it goes to a 
it's not really a solo, but it's kind of. I just call it like a little instrumental piece that goes over the uh, the the rhythm. Uh, sorry, the um the verse the verse track. Okay, so it's two parts that go over the verse. The first one is uh, believe it or not, it's finger tapping again. So um, you've got your first finger on the twelfth fret of the A string, and you do the tapping with your third finger on the. Uh, 14th fret of the A, and then we use our picking hand, tapping hand again, I just use my middle finger so I can still hold my pick. It is easier with your pointer, but if you're going to be strumming afterwards, I just use, so yeah, maybe practice with your pointer if that helps, and then when you're playing, just get uh, used to using your middle finger. So that is on the 19th fret of the A string. over and over so it's the 19th and then 20th frets just start off on the 19th then you move to the 20th back to the 19th and I'll just to finish it off um, you just lay, lay just uh, hit the, the 19th again and just let it ring out so it sounds like this So that's, that's what one guitar is doing. Um, that's not usually the part I play because it just it sounds nice, but um, yeah, without the other part, it's a little lacking. So the other part sounds like this. Um, that plays over and over. So we've got our... I use my middle finger on the 19th fret of the A. That's the first part, so it's uh, 19th, like you hit that twice, then, then you go to the 20th, back to the 19th, and then it's the uh, 17th, and then 19th again. Alright, so that's the first part, which sounds like this. And then we jump down to the 19th on the D, and then 21st, and then 22nd. So that's the first pattern. Put those two halves together and you get the first pattern. And the second time around, it's uh, on the A string, you still play the same stuff. So it's... Then you jump down again to the 19th on the, on the D. But instead of going up, we go we go back down. So we hit nineteenth, uh, then seventeenth, and fifteenth. So we put the first two together, and it sounds like this. All right. Um, so they just play over and over again uh, while you've got the finger tapping going, and that's over the verse riff. Um, and just to finish it off, just like how the finger tapping ended back on the 19th, on the little E note, um, so I'll just play it and I'll show you how it ends. We just hit that first note again, the A on the, the, A, the 19th fret of the A string, and you just let that ring out. And then it jumps into the verse. No, not the verse. Then it jumps into the bridge. Okay, so now we're on to the bridge, which uh, it's got two different strumming patterns, but it's the same same chords. So we start on we start on a power chord on the uh, what, seventh fret. It's on the A string. <laughs> So we just go down a fret each time. So it's uh, seven, six, five, and then at the end you do a um, you hit the uh, fourth. Like you hit the power chord on the fourth in the A, and you just um, slide it up to the fifth, and then back to the fourth. So it sounds like. 
that's the first time around. The second time around, it goes. So um, it's just seven, six, five, nine, twice on the ninth. So together that sounds like. So I think that plays twice, and then the strumming changes for it. Which it, then same same chords, but the strumming goes. chord you hit on the up kind of so it goes so at the end you stop that strumming you go back to like what it was like the, or the so instead of just single strums on these it's and then same chords just a different strumming um yeah so that's the bridge and then it goes back into the chorus and i think that's done actually so yeah you've got opens with the chorus goes to a verse does that a few times then you've got your little tapping instrumental and the solo part over it on the uh over the verse riff and then after that you head into the just the single strum uh, br uh, bridge, and then the extra strums bridge, and then it goes back into a chorus, and I think you're done there. Hopefully that helped. Um, that is all the music that I've got released right now. So um, I guess when I release more music, I will do some more of these uh, Learn to Shreds, and hopefully that helps you. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Keep on rocking. <laughs>